Hey there, this is Sean. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to animate your material inside of Sequencer. And in order to do that, you need to use a material parameter collection. So I just recorded a previous video, which I'll reference in the notes section for how to do a simple material animation. And you can do that with blueprints and material instances. In this case, we're going to use a material parameters collection and material parameter collections are, are awesome because they allow you to put together scalar and vector parameters and they can reference them all together. You can use multiple materials and change global settings. So if you wanted to change everything, maybe if you had a bunch of parameters that allowed you to set multiple materials to like a wet parameter, that could be really useful or to some sort of entropy parameter, like they were getting aged or maybe damaged. But in this case, uh, I'm just gonna show how to do it inside of the sequencer. All right, so let's set this up. So the first thing we are gonna need is a material parameter collection. So right click, go under materials and textures, go to material parameter collection, we'll call this my MPC. And to do that, we are going to reference the parameters inside of some of our material instances. In this case, one material instance, because we'll keep this fast. I have two parameters I'll reference, a vector parameter called M underscore color and a, a scalar parameter called M underscore rough. So we'll go back there, open that up. We'll add one scalar parameter and we'll add one vector parameter. We'll dial that open. And the scalar parameter was called M underscore rough and the vector parameter was called m underscore color. Great, and we wanna set the default values. I want it so that it doesn't pop or change. So the default value I had for my scalar parameter was 0.8 roughness, and I also used the color picker to set this color blue. Okay, great, so we'll save that. Now we gotta add this collection inside the material. So we'll go back, we'll go back to the original material. We'll right click, type collection, and then it's unspecified. So we'll just dial in the collection we're going to use is my MPC and the parameter. Well, we're gonna do one color, I'll hit Control W to duplicate that. And we'll switch this to roughness. Great. We'll just hit apply. And it's updating. Now we're gonna create our cinematic. We'll just do a level sequence. We'll put that in a folder. called it my level sequence. And we are going to add a parameter track, material parameter track. We are going to, it's my MPC. And then we just have to add the parameters that we want to modify. So we will add both the roughness and the color. Great, let's dial that open. And let's change some of these parameters. We can go somewhere in the middle here and we'll make it a lot more red. So we'll add, why don't we just add keyframes for all those and we'll make this one. There we go. We'll take the green down. There we go. Very, and we'll make the roughness very smooth. So it's very shiny. And then I'll just copy so it loops well. I'll just control C, drag this over to the end. And we'll just paste that. So let's just scrub through. Great. All right, so now how do we activate this? Well, we'll go into the blueprints. And we'll just bind it to a key. I'll just keyboard P and level sequence. We've got to choose our level sequence. And then 
got to play cinematic. So I just type, there it is, play sequence player and hook it up. Great. Go here, hit play, move around. We can hit the P key. And how about that? It works. All right, awesome. So that wraps things up. Thanks so much for watching.